Welcome back to Macland Cadets. Today I have to step away from this 1282 project and I've had some machines come in, but I have a machine that's very, very special. This machine's coming together. Uh, there's no question about it. I'm very, very happy. Uh, have the dry shaft in and everything. The dry shaft in this 1282 wasn't the most, uh, uh easiest job to, to install, but it's going in. Uh, picked out my hood. Now, if you remember right, this hood right here, I have newspapers on the floor from that engine spilling, uh, but this is often my original first Red Cadet I ever owned, my 1282, and uh, it shined up pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, this project's come together, but I'm going to step away from this for, for probably a day or two. Um, I have another machine that I'm going to announce at the end of the video that's coming in that I bought last night. But uh, this will give you kind of an idea what I purchased over the weekend here. Uh, 1650. It's a nice natural unit. Uh, somebody put an aftermarket carburetor on it, and I'm going to explain that in great detail. Uh, it came in, the seat that they it came in with wasn't uh, spaced out right on the spacing in this area. So if it runs... Uh, at the end of the video, we'll put a seat on it and get it ready. Um, I'm just going to put it in my storage building for now. Put it probably next to my 800. It sits in, it's a nice unit. A 1650 is like a big block in the single cylinders. If you ever ran a 1650, you'll understand what I mean. They have power. There's no question about it. I've never owned a 169. That's one machine that I would like to own in the future, uh, but I haven't yet. But uh, let's see if we can get it going. Um, let's explain this carburetor issue. Um, I did have it firing on um, carburetor cleaner, but I took the carburetor off. And when I took the carburetor off, somebody used for gaskets instead of, well, they used the gaskets, but they used uh, Permatex. And they had so much gasket maker in this carburetor, there was no way it could run. Uh, I believe it's an aftermarket uh, carburetor, completely out of adjustment. And you're going to get that. When you're buying Cub Cadets, uh, expect that you're going to have issues and that you're going to have to put some time into it. But I'm pretty confident that this machine is going to run. I have new uh, fuel line, which most people don't realize. A 1650 uses 3 8 fuel line. You can see right there. It's quite big. Uh, right there, some 3 8 I actually had to go to my other salvage yard, because uh, we have a big tractor salvage yard also, to get some of that, because I didn't have any of that in stock. But uh, I'm going to put you in uh, the holder, and let's see if she Okay, the well, let's get her back on it. I have the fuel tank. Let's take the fuel line. This this old fuel line is in really bad shape. There's no, I just don't. Uh, there's no sense of starting out with it. Uh, it's not that great. Push that on there, get that all secure, and then we're going to put the fuel tank on it. Shut the fuel off, make sure fuel's not coming out of it. Put it in the holder. Yeah, for now, let's just set that in there. I didn't get that the right way, so it's a good thing we just didn't fasten it in there. Get your fuel line ran first is probably the best idea.
These quiet lines weren't the easiest machine in the world to get everything lined up. They made a lot of improvement when they went to the spread frame. Everything is nice and tight for these. What a special pair of pliers I have. I have thought about taking this machine to plow day. Get that in there. Probably gonna run that. Boy, that is nice and close to that throttle. But let's see if we can get it in there and see where we're at. We might have to cut a little bit more off that. I have a pair of these pliers right here, and I really like them. They're needle nose, but they're at an angle. They're in 90s. I'm going to put a little bit of oil on this area right here to make that slide on there easier. Let's see if she runs. Everything's in there. Now the battery in this is out of that 122 I had.
Well, looks like we have a good runner. Let's get this back together and get it tightened up. It's always embarrassing when you want them to run. Then they won't run. <laughs> It's like driving to a tractor pole. You get there, have the tractor all ready to go, and then she won't start. Now, when I get this all together, I'll put the side panels on it and everything, and I'm just gonna put it in the storage building for now, wait till spring, because we're in the middle of winter right now. On the end of the week here, we're supposed to be down to sub-zero. And, it's a good idea not to be starting these when it's that damn cold, really. Bad man. Push that back because there is a slot in them, so you want to push them back on your firewall. I love the Quiet Line series. Now, I remember them when I was younger at the dealership. That tells you my age. clean them up later and they'll drip on these here so that'll that's not the worst on your your levers and everything so Now she's nice and fit. Let's put the screws in there. The fun part of putting these together. I've owned quite a few 1650s. I have them out in the yard, but I don't have one of my own. Actually, I have thought about taking this to Plow Day. 1650, well, really? The only thing is, and you guys can comment, I, I'm kind of curious if a 16 horse will pull a 12 inch friendly plow. I'm not so sure they will, but. A KT-17 Series 2 doesn't have as much power as people think either, really. Oh, very good. I wonder where the wing vent was. This one has a rubber piece around it. Put the side pieces on, and then let's change that seat. Now, 
Now I didn't have the right screw, so what I did is I screwed in a quarter inch bolt, I cut the head off, and then I put Loctite on it. And it really actually made them look pretty good. That's how I did it. Because I really kind of wanted a wing nut in there so I could take them out. Of all the quiet lines I've ever had, I think I only had one that came in with the original uh, hardware to hold them on. When these were brand new, they looked beautiful. They really did. I have a toy, but I think my toy is a 1250, I believe. I'm oh, amazed that battery's still working so good. That battery's 10 years old. I'd like to get one of these quiet lines with the uh, jewelry outlets on them. I've never had one with dual outlets, ever. I've almost made a couple sets, but I never had time to do it. Have it all thought out how to do it. Have the cross spring. And that is an original one from Cub Cadet. That's nice about having your own salvage yard. You're going to be doing these cadets by a few parts machines because you're definitely going to need parts. Boy, that looks good. Let's change the seat next. Give it a good look. And we'll start it one more time before we end the video. Also have to explain what I have coming in tomorrow. Can't wait. Never own what I have coming in. Now this seat's nothing perfect. This seat actually came in, if you watch my other video in my salvage yard, that I said that they changed a Cyclops into a regular spread frame. Uh, putting uh, steel sh uh, sheet metal on it. This is a seat off in that tractor. I know one thing I forgot to put on with the before I put the fuel tank on. I'm just so excited to hear if it was going to be a good runner. But we'll put it on before we end the video. Before we go to cloud day, if I take this tractor, we're definitely going to take the seat on it. But that's just a good one. One thing I did forget to put on is the firewall. Let's put that on there for the hood. This is for your adjustment so it won't take out your dash. Without the fuel tank in.
For some reason. Well, I'll just hold the dash in. Must be the dash is a little bit strong. Like I said before, these aren't the easiest thing to work on, by no means. It takes a half inch. Start it up before we end this video also. I believe that's a very good runner, very, very tickled with it. Um, I'm going to get it all buffed out, get it cleaned up, and uh, if anybody's interested in it, let me know. I did I get, I did get a, a snow blade, a snow blower, or a snow thrower, and a mower deck, a 44A, uh, 44A mower. But uh, everyone have a great day, and my announcement is I do have, and I've never owned one before, I have a Cub Cadet 72 that I purchased last night, and that's going to be coming in tomorrow. We'll get that filmed. Everyone have a great day. Thanks for tuning in to Macland Cadets. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.